This is a one and a half years old fancy mouse which has been suffering from sticky eyes for five days already. This has been the third instance of sticky eyes within a short time, and the owner, being very worried, has brought it to Topayo Vets. Continue watching to find out more. This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Topayo Vets. 11 of September 2018. Yeah. Looks a hamster. Yeah. It's small. How long you have this? One year? About a year, yeah. Oh, yeah, because it's still a weight. 13, 14 grams. Huh? But a long tail, so a different hamster. Yeah. 27 grams. Okay, what was the main complaint? Uh, he has sticky eyes and then recently he like cannot bite the hot food. Like, so like, give him bread and then you soak the bread. How long that sticky eyes? Uh, this is the third time that he has, but like he had not left for about three to four days. Third time is what, last, last month has it? Uh, yeah, the past two months. Like, he'll have it for like one, two days after he'll clear. But then this one hasn't, hasn't cleared. Mm. How about appetite? Uh, it used to be very good, but then now he hasn't been eating much. Mm. Is there another one? Another mouse? Uh, yes, but we keep them separately because the other one uh, keeps trying to overgroom this one. When was that? When do you separate them? Uh, one week into getting them, so like about a year ago. Oh. Yeah. So what do you feed? Uh, pellets, then okay. after that change to bread. Hmm. Any diarrhea or not? Nope. No. No. Quite nervous. Yeah. Like we don't usually handle him because like he, he always gets like, scared. Now this this uh, running nose how long? Sorry. Recently uh, the running nose. Running nose. Is there any wet nose? Uh, just the eyes only. Yeah, just the eyes. So the mouth, you, uh, do you manage? Can you manage to open up? Uh no. Oh, you know the teeth. The teeth is. Because uh, yesterday when he was eating, then there was a little bit of blood. That's mm. why I was a little bit scared. Then like I noticed that he's like below his the below of the mouth is bleeding. Get the first step here. Below. Yeah. It was like I mean I saw it from below. Did they have a picture? No. No, did they have a photo of it yesterday? No. Um uh, no, I just saw it this morning actually. Like it's like right shine, below. shine. Mm. Uh only thing we can't see. Normally when they have eye discharge, they, they are sick. Eh? Mm. So the appetite is no more, right? No appetite, right? Uh, he will still eat. Like, if you put soft food there, he will like want to eat. It's mm. just, uh, it's just with hard food, he can't. Uh -huh. Okay. So you, didn't, you, don't, you don't handle him at all? Sorry? Do you touch him? Or handle him? Uh, these few days, yes, because uh, I tried to use like warm water to dab away the sticky. So you consider one year plus, huh? Uh, I think he's one year plus. Mm. Check the teeth. Tooth is how many? How much tooth? Not much. Uh, quite regular, I would say. Is it a lot? Is it a lot of tooth? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, what's counted as a lot? I mean, ten or twenty pieces. Oh, uh, no. Hmm? Maybe fifteen. Just a tip, huh? Fractured, uh. but it's not overgrown. It's just okay. fractured. This one. Uh. Okay. So he he can't he can't eat now. 
Uh, sock food he can. Like, when so was like, it? Uh, for the past four days. So like uh. the bread, I would like soak in water, or, like mm. biscuits and soak in water. Uh, it's a conjunctivitis. Huh? No diarrhea, right? No. Let's see, check here. Okay. Is it diarrhea? No. You thought this is wet stools? Uh, I think it's just because like, he likes to like press on the water. Hmm? Okay, this one you need antibiotics for the eye, eye infection. Uh. So eye, eye drops, it drips uh. on it. Uh, eye drops and, and then oral antibiotics. Um, you can manage to give. Do I have to like turn him over? Yeah, you can hold like this. Yeah. Okay. Hold like this, wearing gloves and then you just put drop in. Uh. Okay. If you cannot manage, then we, we do it for you for two days. Uh. Can you manage? Should be okay, I think. So they're still a bit, still eating lah. Yeah, he, like with food, he still like gets very excited. It's just uh, need to be very soft. Teeth fractured. Let me go. But the stools are still there. Mm. Stools pressing, but less ah. Uh. Mm. Last time, what, 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 what food did he eat? Hard uh, food, I mean. Yeah, hard food pellets. Mm. Can you still feed pellets by, by dissolving it and then give it uh, like a paste? Uh, and then you feed. That one I didn't try. Uh, can you try that? Can try. Okay. This soft food is bread, is it you talking about? Uh, the soft food, yeah, bread and biscuits. Or like dissolved then. Bread and biscuit. Previously, she eats the. Uh, Previously, he eats like um, the hamster pellets, right? Mm. Yeah. Okay. So you you, you feed the, the hamster pellet and then. Uh, you crush it. Uh, now, crush right? it uh, okay. and then uh, feed six times a day. Uh, six times small, a day. Small, uh, small amount. Okay. Do I have to hand feed him or just like put it on his foot bowl and then let him hand chew? Hand feed, hand feed. Okay. Oh. Mm. Then uh, do you weigh him before? What was his weight before? Do you know? Um, but he's like almost twice of this size. Uh. So thin. Uh. Okay, okay, finish that. So In view of this recurrence, there is likely to be some permanent underlying factor causing the eye infection. It seems that in the case of this fancy mouse, the primary reason for the recurrent eye infections is the cramped living environment. Because it lives in only a small cage, conditions will inevitably be unhygienic. According to the owner, it urinates in a sand bath, thus allowing bacteria to thrive and increasing the likelihood of infection. A secondary cause might be its old age. At one and a half years of age, this mouse is relatively old, since mice typically have a lifespan of only one to two years. Hence, they have weaker immune systems that make them more susceptible to diseases and infections. Uh, yes. So you can see quite quite dusty. Eh? Yeah. How often you change the litter? One week. So like, I was supposed to change yesterday, but he's coming today, so I thought I should let you see how... Yeah, you can see the stools are there. The stools are there. There are a lot of stools are there. Even some here. So you mean, where, where does he do his business? Here, inside, inside the... Usually this part, because this is his, uh, where the sun, the sand bath. You mean this is his home? Uh? Yeah. Huh? It's too small. Uh. Then this is fit bowl, right? Yeah, so like this one is the dissolved biscuits. We gave it yesterday. Come to the other side. Then, then the other mouse also in the same, same... Uh, in a fish tank. A bigger, bigger one? A slightly bigger. Oh. Like taller, higher. This one cannot, too small. Too small. Okay. You see, there's some sand buff, is it? Where? Sorry? Do you, you put some sand buff? Yeah, no. it's like here. But then, like, he will just move the cotton and everything, so usually it will just be below. So they could, they, they could explain why he got his eye uh, infection. You see, they yeah. can see a lot of powdery thing there. Yeah. Hmm. So, like, for that, then I will just not. No more them. already. No, no you can more. just pee on them. No, you got to increase the space. This is too small. I thought this was a carrier, you know. Uh, 
It's not a cave, it's actually a home, is it? Mm. Too small. Okay, how big does it have to be? About twice, huh? Twice. Okay. You know those hamsters one, they, 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 they sell? Have you seen it? Some is like two stories. Ah, ah those type, not say two stories, one story they have, but it's bigger than this. Uh. Okay. Have you seen it? Hamsters one? Uh. Very, very popular with hamsters. Bigger. It's wider than this. Uh. Okay. One and a half times at least. Uh. I think you have seen it, it's quite common in the shops. Okay. Oh, no wonder I thought it was. I thought it was a carrier, you know. It's not a carrier. Shine the light, sense it? The eyes. Mm. Okay, so now we know. No? No? Mm. It, it is the housing. Uh. Antibiotics are then dispensed as treatment to catalyze the mouse's recovery from sticky eyes. However, a long-term solution is to promote hygiene in its habitat by moving it to a cage that is two times as large, removing the sand bath as well as changing the bedding which is littered with feces. All pet rodent owners should learn from this example and be mindful of the environment that their pets are living in. Taking good hygienic care of their pets will help to reduce the likelihood of succumbing to infections.